The start of the new year will bring the start of new higher wages in Washington state. Minimum wage in Washington goes from $9.47 an hour to $11 an hour with more raises to come each year. While that's great news for thousands of workers, businesses are trying to figure out how to pay for it. KXLY's Ariana Cohen is working for you tonight in downtown Spokane. Ariana, this will affect a lot of people and not just workers making minimum wage. That's right, Grace, and some Spokane businesses even had to lay off employees already, and it's making up a big difference so far. Others will pass on the higher cost to you, the shoppers, and the diners. But other businesses, though, plan to take the wage hike in stride, like owner from Pizza Rita Brian Dickman says he doesn't believe it will affect his business since they've been open for 28 years. He says he won't be cutting back on any employees. In addition to the change in state law, the city of Spokane has implemented a big change as well, requiring companies to offer paid sick leave. This impacts small businesses the most, and Dickman knows his employees are happy about the raise, but he has to do a little something to make things work. It's a lot passed. I mean, the majority of the citizens of Washington wanted it, and so, it, no, I mean, I mean, was it my happiest, happiest deal? But it's the way it is. I mean, you know, everybody's going to make a little more money, and everything's going to cost a little more, so it's probably going to all even out. Yes, he says it will even out, but he says they will raise topping prices and they'll raise delivery charges by a dollar. But he says overall they still have the cheapest prices in the area. Seattle raised the minimum wage significantly in 2015. Some businesses are dealing okay with this, but other businesses had to close down completely. Reporting from downtown Spokane, I'm Ariana Cohen, KXLY4 News.